right, good afternoon guys. Just back from my work trip. Time to get started in the garage. Working on the sheetrock. Gonna also, ooh, look at that. Ha <laughs> ha, little shadow puppets. Didn't see that. All right, anyways. <laughs> gonna work on the garage, get the sheetrock finished, get it all mudded out, sand it out, and then I'm gonna work on spraying the garage, get it power washed, try to get it painted the next two days while I'm home from work before I head out on another trip. Thanks for watching guys. We're gonna get going here and there'll be more later. early start sorry about the echo I got the garage door closed for the heat not much I can do about the echo but it'll get better I promise as I fill things in basically you're gonna finish up all the mud work and the sheetrock work and then prepping for paint and then do some epoxy floor prep as well today that'll be today and tomorrow that'll be this episode so you get to stand by thanks and don't forget to subscribe below, like, etc. If you don't like what you're seeing, leave it on. I need the subscribership and the viewership. Let the dog watch it. He needs something to watch anyways. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up today. We're gonna finish up all the sheet rock work, the compound joint work, as well as the mudding. All those cracks and crevices, we're gonna fill those in. We're also around the window, kind of finish up that paperwork rather. The trim around the window, we're just gonna do a nice rock trim. I'm not gonna do anything spectacular, nothing fancy or anything like that. Finish up little areas like this, right there where there's some big hole. Previous tenants, my renters, they put some holes in the wall. I'm not sure why they did that, but I fixed those up. It's a garage, it's not 100% perfect, but it's gonna be nice in here. We're gonna finish up little stuff here. And then the next thing we're gonna do is get this garage cleaned up. Try to move all the stuff that's in the center of the garage. We're gonna move that out get it out of the garage. That way I can have room to paint in here as well as I have room to work on the epoxy floor. I'm excited for that, super excited. It's starting to get cool here in Iowa, but the garage is warm enough I can still do the epoxy floor and it's actually stays warm in this garage. It's about 65 degrees in here. We'll work on these cracks today as well in preparation for the epoxy floor. We're also gonna work on this step here. I've never liked it, so we're gonna do what we can do to fix that up. I keep talking about mudding and filling in the large holes. And really what this is, is this is called joint compound. You can see it's 45, easy sanding 45. I like to use a 45 because I learned, and I learned all these skills while I was in college. All those young people listening, construction's a great skill to learn. I would never encourage it as a career, unless you really love it, because it's a lot of hard work. If you don't mind hard work and aren't lazy like me, construction's a great career. Anyways, I'm using the easy 45 sanding compound. And really what this is, is we're gonna mix this up. I'll show you some video of that. But you mix it up about the consistency of like a thick uh, muffin mix or something like that. And that'll go in these holes and then they'll dry in about 45 minutes. All right, there's also 10 and 20. I would encourage anything less than the 45 because it's, it'll go away fast. It'll dry up on you real quick and you're just wasting your time. It takes a little bit of time to mix it. We'll show you how that gets done. All right, this all-purpose stuff here is meant for more finer areas, not as rough, and it's kind of a more of a smooth finish to kind of wrap it all things up. So you'll see me use both today. I would not encourage this box. It's the first time I ever used this box. Do not buy the box. Buy the small bucket or the large bucket. This box is not cool. It's wrapped in plastic. It flakes off. The dry stuff flakes off. Don't use this box. I do encourage USG. Great stuff. I've used it since I've been around in construction, so I love it. There's other stuff out there, so you do your research yourself. All right, we're gonna get back at it. I'm gonna show you how to mix up some joint compound. I like using the 45, as I mentioned earlier. It gives you a little bit more working time, a little bit more time to get things all wrapped up. It doesn't dry up too quickly on you. Now what you wanna do is you wanna start with a really clean bucket and a really clean water. Anything else than that, the stuff is cure faster than you want it to. Trust me, this is from experience. I said earlier, I did this in college. If you don't follow these directions and the way to do it, it's gonna be an ugly mess. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this up, some of it up. You'll see me, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit at a time, use a little bit of cool water, clean water, and it will get a mixture going.
little bit too much water. So a little bit more mixture. This is just like making muffin mix. Now, one thing to listen to is if you can hear this drill arguing or working hard, it's probably too thick. As you can hear, the drill's working a little too hard. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water, kind of thin it out a little bit. This is also gonna be a little bit more working time. All right, if it's too thick, it's gonna be really hard to put on. Okay, I just showed you how to mix up that joint compound. I went and cleaned up the paddle and the mixer. That way I can use it again. You gotta clean that up when you get done, otherwise it's gonna be a mess. It's a pain, but it is. You gotta get it cleaned up. This stuff will turn into rock hard concrete like substance. So you gotta get it wrapped up, cleaned up before you start your work. We're gonna get going. I'll show you how to fill in all these joints. You're wondering, how does this do anything with the garage? Well, the wife wants you to do these projects at home but you also wanna spend time in the garage and make your garage nice, tell her you're gonna use the garage as a test project. Learn how to do some sheetrock, learn how to do this, learn how to install some windows. That's the way you do this. Make a nice garage, you learn how to do it, you make your mistakes here, nobody sees all the imperfection in your garage, and then you move inside the house. Okay, we're gonna get back to putting some mud on the walls. Talk to you later. Off to the store, gonna pick up some stuff. Gonna pick up an airless sprayer. Never used one of those before. Super excited to try it out. Hopefully it speeds things up. I'm gonna use it in the garage. Also, what you guys don't know is I just moved into this house. I'm gonna do a complete remodel. So I'm gonna use that for the remodel as well. I'm gonna use it to repaint the entire house. So that's another reason why I'm using it. Super excited, hope it wraps things up real quick. All right, also picking up the power washer that I dropped off. I let them do it, a uh, small engine repair place. It was quicker for them to do it. I could have done it, but it's not right time for me during the time I'm working on this garage. My garage is torn apart, so not the right time. Plus, I want to get it done quickly. They did it while I was on a trip. So I'm going to use that today as well as doing some cleaning in the garage. I'll have to pick up some supplies. We'll catch up with you later. Time to get some food, too. I'm a little hungry. Talk to you later. All right, just back from lunch. We're going to get started sanding on the seams for the sheetrock, getting that all cleaned up. Anyways, picked up the great airless sprayer. We're gonna try that out. All right, we're gonna spray some kills in here as well as we're gonna sp spray some uh, cement gloss in here. For kitchens and baths, it's washable, so it'll help you clean up the garage. So if I get fingerprints all over the walls, it'll help out. Well, first things first, we're gonna get going. Let's do some sanding and clean up, and we're also gonna work on the concrete. Up on that for the epoxy floor. A lot to do today, we're gonna get going. I'll talk to you guys later.
All right, first set of sandings done. I'm gonna go through and circle all the areas that I wanna fix up with some light skim coat of mud. Not the joy compound, but just the mud, the drywall mud. It'll dry fairly quickly. Once that's done, I'll sand it, and then hopefully everything will be good to go to paint tomorrow morning, and then I can wash it down tonight before we go to bed, and then let it dry over the night, and then start painting it in the morning. So far, we're doing good. Stay tuned for more. Okay, mudding's complete. Next step we're gonna do is clean up a little bit and then we're gonna work on the floor for the epoxy. I'm super excited about the epoxy floor. I think uh, you guys, a lot of you guys will like to see that. I got a little bit more sand to do and then I'm gonna spray the texture coat on the walls here on the spots that you can see where it's actually kind of bare. And then we're gonna do some paint. We'll do that tomorrow. But in the meantime, while we're letting the rest of everything dry, we're gonna tackle this crack in the concrete here. This was a little bit of a settlement of the garage floor. I had it looked at uh, by some concrete guys as well as an engineer and they said it's gonna settle as much as it's gonna settle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break out all the loose stuff and I'm gonna skim coat a concrete patch over the top of this to allow it to look a little better so when we do some epoxy coating over the top of all this, you won't see that. There's also a little spot there in the concrete, a little chip there I gotta fix. So we'll fix that. The rest of the garage is in really good shape. There's no other issues with that. All right, so what we'll do is get started on that and then we'll check back in later. All right, we're gonna do some prep here. We're gonna clean up the concrete. You just saw me chipping away all that stuff. The direction safe for this fancy epoxy is really what it is. It's epoxy for the concrete to put it all together and hold it out in a skim coat. So what we're gonna do is clean it out so the acetone, you saw me vacuum it. We're gonna acetone it down, make sure it's nice and clean of chemicals. We'll mix up the epoxy and then put it down, skim coat it. Since I can put it down in two different coats, so we'll see how this goes. Never done this before, but this is the same stuff that is recommended by the epoxy paint manufacturer. So I'm going to use that so everything is kosher. There's no mixing of products that, from different brands. Wish me luck. First time I'm trying this, so we'll see how it goes. All right, now I have to go mix up the epoxy and see how it goes. All right, good morning. We're gonna get going. A little late start this morning. I stayed up a little late last night just relaxing, chilling. That's okay, it's my day off. Uh, we're gonna get going with some sanding. We're gonna wrap that up, clean up the garage a little bit, get everything out of the area, out of the garage. That's, we don't need it here. Cover things up and we're gonna try out this new sprayer. Super excited to get this thing painted. I can't wait for the end results. I hope you guys are enjoying what's going on with this build. I promise we'll get to a car soon, but I gotta build a garage first. All right, I'll check with you later, guys. All right, sanding's done. 
which would probably be a little bit prettier if I was interior inside my house. My wife was looking at it, but this is my garage. I'm gonna dig things up anyway, so it's, I'm gonna call it done. Sanding's done. We're gonna throw a little bit of texture on it, let that dry, and while that's drying, we're gonna clean up this entire garage, get it all swept out, get it all ready for paint, get everything out of here we don't need. Start following me for more. All right, I'm done sanding, I'm done texturing, I'm cleaning. I got everything out, cleaned up out of the way so it make it easier for the paint to go around the whole entire garage. Now let's check out this airless sprayer. I'm excited to try this out. All right, I did a little bit of research and this is probably the best airless sprayer for home use and maybe a little bit of industrial use, mostly home use. As I mentioned earlier, not only am I doing this garage project, I'm also doing an interior remodel of my own home. So I'm gonna use this for that as well. Let's open this up, see how it looks. Here we go. Magnamax by Graco. All right, trying to break out the directions and figure out how we're gonna operate this sucker. All right, I dug out the directions. I dug out this, the air compressor, or the, actually the airless sprayer here, the pump. This is by Graco, and I have never used it before. I'm not sponsored by them, so we're gonna see how it is. I'm just going off for reviews. They have a great set of instructions here. It's actually laminated, so if you get stuff on it, you can clean it off. We'll get going here. Let's see if I can figure out these directions. good directions here. They're pretty straightforward, very precise. I usually not want to follow directions, but there's enough here to make me pay attention. Great, I got my bucket, my paint up here, and my air sprayer, my waste bucket, so that pump to get the pump through. These directions are great. So far, I'm really happy. The gray coat, it's made in the United States, so that's a good thing. I'm using Kills Paint, and the reason why I'm doing that is their previous tenants of mine, my renters, failed to follow instructions, and they decided they want to smoke in my garage here. So I gotta get rid of that smoke smell, as well as it's, it's a good cover-up primer for lots of dark spots, all that sort of stuff. This is from my previous life. I used this when I was in construction. It works great, it's not the cheapest stuff in the world, but it works great. So that's what counts, it ends up being cheap in the end. Just back from lunch, ran out of paint, ran out a little bit of primer, so I went and got some more while I was at lunch. It worked out to be good. Also, once we get done with the primer, we're gonna go ahead and roll right into spraying on the semi-gloss in the garage. That way it has a couple days, actually it's gonna be about four days. I have a trip coming up. Four days of dry, all done, taken care of. We'll go from there. That's it for today. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Oh, I forgot to tell you about my thumb. That was a little scaffold incident. No big deal. We can handle that. Honey Badger keeps moving on. Anyways, thanks for hanging out. Hit the like and subscribe below. Thanks guys.